Summerland faced a string of racist incidents this July, starting with one family who was targeted and left with broken windows and racist graffiti sprayed in bright red on their home. The Lakey family was shocked by the incident, having lived in the community for many years. Make me more upsetting, but not before, but now every time I look, I say, why they, somebody did to us? There were also spray-painted swastikas found in Memorial Park in Summerland overnight. Summerland Mayor Tony Boot was one of the first to speak on her disgust with the incidents. But the Lakey family remained strong against the hateful act and chose to start a GoFundMe for a community project in town. And the rest of the community showed up for them too, offering to help clean up, paint the home, and even install security cameras around the property. The neighbors stayed together, show the unity, because that way, because this is just a heaven for us to living in this country. A drive-by parade was also arranged with dozens of cars driving by the home with heartfelt messages and cheers of encouragement. But more inappropriate displays followed with a man from Alberta waving a Confederate flag as residents drove to the Lakey's home. Police in Summerland found the man responsible later that week and he apologized. Later, controversy arose when Boot confronted the store owner, who sold the flag, publicly destroying all Confederate merchandise. The business owner alleged Boot showed unfair treatment and bullying by her actions, asking for a public apology. She also received written threats, which she addressed in a council meeting, where council voted to formally state that Summerland stands up against racism and focus on a community conversation around it. We Are One, an anti-racism group out of Vancouver, thanked and honoured Boot for taking a stand against racism this summer. For Castanet News in Summerland, I'm Casey Richardson.